we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Almighty Father, by the mystery of God, may we become a new person. This, this tiny heart of ours may it change to a heart that is as big as the universe. Our lives where we learnt lies and we spoke lies by the mystery of Christ. Maybe we become a man and speak correct words. May we hum be humbled and humbled so that God raises us up. As much as we love, we receive. When I look at my life, my face, we can see how much we love God, yet we still cannot realize and we grumble and complain like a beast. At this time, may we change to become a blessed man. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. Let's greet the person next to us. Still, we can do well. Still, we can do well. Our lives, our reality, is what my ancestors have done and what I have done. And yet we turn the grumbling onto someone else. Even those people who think they're better. You know, we end up even, we even end up grumbling against the president. Our, we grumble against our ancestors. And then we dig up we dig up these these ancestors' graves. Why? Because because water is coming from there. These days, water is so precious. So we have so much to repent of. The lies that we have learnt. We've paid money to go to a liar to learn lies. And then we go and do lies again, speak lies again. That's what worldly learning is. Some people say, oh, someone's heart is as wide as the ocean. Our heart has to be as big as the universe. If you say that your heart is as wide as the ocean, that is a tiny drop. So God says, Matthew chapter 16, verse 26, our heart should be as because the universe. So, you know, uh, uh, to to say that you have a heart as big as the ocean, that's that's as small as my toenail. So, who is it that can widen my heart? Only four-step repentance. Colossians chapter two, verse two. Why is it that you don't receive answers? What you have done and your ancestors have done is to only cause problems to come. You know, whatever religious leader, they are liars. Romans chapter 3, verse 4, Confucius, Mencius, they're liars. So you learn these lies from these liars, and then you go and speak lies. So how can you receive blessings? The reason why you don't do well is because of what you and your ancestors have done. God, if you don't receive the help that he gives, then... 100% you'll be ruined. It's He that makes us alive or dead. He either gives us disease or heals disease. He either puts demons inside of us or takes them away. He either gives us money or takes it away. It's not just that. It's whether a thousand generations do well or three and four generations are ruined. It's All of this is done by Jehovah. Don't worry about war. Because even that is is in the hands of Jehovah. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse, verse 47. So this is how Almighty is. He says, if you don't listen to his word, if you scorn his word, then you'll be ruined. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 13. So why is it that you don't receive? Because you scorn God's word. You scoff at it. You look at people who don't do well. You see, if you can see them at this time. No. So you can see they'll be ruined and soon they are. So the work of God comes first, Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, but you don't see them. Why? Because 
you know, they've got something because of, you know, because they're tied up to money. They put God second. They're evil. So they act like this and then they expect to do well. They can't. It's because they do the things that make themselves not do well. And then it comes back to them and their children. And yet they sit there shameless. There's nothing that is mine. And yet they have their pride. If you seek your pride, then you're evil. We were, we were, we were put out of the Garden of Eden because of that pride. But it's because of that that you and your children don't do well. And yet you keep doing that. So if you're not doing well, it's because of what you and your ancestors have done. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Let's find it. So what is good? The, the sign that Korea is ru being ruined. What is a fake church? If you make denominations, then that is fake. Yet these fakes talk about glory. If you make a denomination a faction then there's no then there's no glory there's no salvation you've never given profit or joy to others and yet it's those demons that talk about glory the most but they don't know what glory is if you can't even say amen and you have demons where do you have to go inside of to say amen you have to be inside of Christ without four step repentance. If you say Amen, 100% that's a lie. 2 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 20. So, if you're cursed like that, you think that God's going to give you blessings? So, whose words are right that you that makes you do well? Even the country's economy, individual's economy is all controlled by the Lord. Job chapter 42 verse 2. But if you scorn God's word, you receive disasters and curses. 100% you'll be ru ruined. Proverbs chapter 13 verse 13. Psalms 107 verse 10. Because you don't have po popularity, you cannot receive help. So what is it that God tells us to boast of? Galatians chapter 6 verse 14. But you watch on TV and they, they're boasting about something. But whatever you boast of, God, he will ruin it. If you say this is the biggest boat in the world, he will, he will completely break it down. You know, Titanic. It was completely um, broken up and all these people died. So these countries that that believe in God, you see the way they die, and who is it they save the first, the 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 old grandfathers? No, because because they're filled with sin. They didn't get off the boats. It was the women and the children that they first put on the the lifeboats. So that is the example that people who believe in God show us. So if you say your situation is difficult, your country is in difficulty, you say, oh, our family's going to break up. You know, I have to get divorced. I have to move overseas. If you're a leaking bucket, wherever you go, you will leak. If you're unfortunate, wherever you go, there are no blessings. So four-step repentance is to become a blessed man. Four-step repentance is to become a blessed country. So you reap what you sow. Galatians chapter 6 verse 7. Let's read it. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, this he will also reap. Amen. So if you cannot change someone's heart, then th that music is crazy. But... At school, how many colours do you, what do you learn about light, about the three primary colours? What are the three primary colours? So, you know, if you don't know anything, then that's when you receive, that's when you receive
power. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29. So it would be good if you were always powerless. But as soon as you say, oh, two times two is four, and you, you act like you know, that's when, that's when your, your, your beggar's bowl gets cracked. You know, if you were always so helpless, then God will always give you blessings. You look at a child, they don't grow up by themselves. You know, you don't leave them alone just to grow up by themselves. You know, you make sure that you give them milk that is the right temperature and So, so the reason why I'm talking about the three primary colors, one John chapter one verse five, God is light. So, what is light? The three primary colors. If you keep watching TV, blue comes out as green. So, so black, black sucks up all the colors. But white, white um, puts those, uh, white puts out those colors again. So if you want to know about light properly, without knowing the Holy Trinity, you cannot know. What does it say here? It says, do not be deceived. What you've done, your ancestors done, yet you're deceived by that, and that's why you cause problems. If you say you're not doing well, if you're in difficulty, it's what you and your ancestors have done. Nothing that belongs to others comes to you. And so you're mistaken. You think that it's other people's problems that have come to you. You know, you see these people who are in prison, who get a free meal because of our taxes. So their whole lives, they deceive the people. They they take the taxes from us and they're fed that way. So that, that's a traitor. But did they want to become like that? Well, no, they tried to live well, but they ended up like that. So what's the difference between that person and me? John chapter 8 verse 7, there's nowhere where we can throw the stone. You know, according to God's word, we have this evil where we get so jealous when other people do well or when other people are ruined, we say, oh, so I'm so happy they're ruined. But by that thought, by those words, those disasters come to me, my children. Those people at least, they did something but all we do is have that thought proverbs chapter 17 verse 4 and 5 and we bring about those disasters to me and my children so then we say oh we've never committed that sin but as soon as you say oh they deserve that so romans chapter 3 verse 4 whatever person whatever philosophy whatever religion they're all liars that's what god says so if you're a liar, you're evil. So how can you have ever done anything good? So what you've planted, there's only disasters that come back. But yet you deceive yourself. If you hear God's word and you don't change it to actions, James chapter 1 verse 21, then you deceive yourself. Why is it that that person has greed and all they know is money? It's not that you have a lot of money that that you only know money it's there are beggars who only have a dollar and yet all they know is money yet there are people who are men who can rule over that money so you have to discern if you don't do four step repentance whatever person is a liar but the world doesn't know this so God is telling us this do not be deceived if you have problems, if you have disease, does your society or your children have problems? 
It's what you have sown. So do not be deceived. God is not mocked. So whatever a man sows, your present situation is what you and your ancestors have sown and that's what you reap. So what are you going to do? Which religion, which liar can release us from this? Which Eastern philosophy, whether it be Confucius or Mencius, they're all liars. How can they release us from this? Because you have to reap what you sow. During God's precious feast, if all you've done is feed yourself, feed your flesh, then God, he won't even give you this mystery. He won't give you what what will save the world will save Korea or save the world. You know, during that time I could I couldn't even drink water. You know, I pray, Lord, for me to be able to to fulfill this feast, this this revival, you know, help me to eat. But even before the feast the revival I'm not able to eat. So when your flesh dies, that's when your spirit lives. And that's how the revival comes about every time. So what is it that you have sown? You know, what comes back to you, all you do is grumble. But whatever it is that's come to you, you haven't ever won over it with love and planted blessings. And instead, you're just complaining. So how fake are you? James chapter 1 verse 22. If you've done forced at repentance and yet look at your actions, you're completely a fake. Loving your wife is loving yourself. So if you love your wife, how can you be getting divorced? If you serve the, your husband as the Lord, you know there's nothing to do to the Lord except obey. But all you do is, is, is have your thoughts and your theories. So when have you ever served your husband? So you're all liars. If you could do things by your strength, then 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 5, uh, chapter 5 verse 10, then God wouldn't say he himself would do it. If you do according to the word, then it's God who does it. So what is it that you've sown that, that you have disease? You know, as I meditate on this word and I repent and I repent as other people's sins as mine, suddenly, if I have some sickness, it's because it's your temper or you acting like you're better. So God, he would drag you to the point of death. And that's when your personality changes. Why change after being hit? You will reap what you sow. So quickly repent and disasters, poverty, disease, my children having problems. Don't receive that. God, because he is just, he does return this to you. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 5 to 9. Because God says he'll help us at dawn, let's get rid of these disasters. Let's get rid, rid of this poverty and, and disease. Today, let's receive solutions. Isn't this amen? It's so sad. You know, my heart is yes, because it's, you know, when I look at my body, I do want to rest, but, and I want to sleep, but then something comes up so that I can't. And so then I have to go somewhere so that I can't rest. It's what I've planted. What is it that me, my ancestors have planted, that this happens? But if you do four-step repentance, you know, this is not my boasting. This is what the Holy Spirit, if you do four-step repentance, this is what happens. If you try to change yourself, you're a double-minded. That's the, the worst of lies. Those people have so many disasters and their children don't do well. You become like a child. Someone who goes to heaven, Matthew chapter 18 verse 3, you become like a child. So if you're like a child, how can you be double-minded? A, a child is honest. You know, economic policies, no matter how much 
you try to use them. If God doesn't help, then it doesn't work because you reap what you sow. So what is it that these disasters that, are, that have come, how can we change them to blessings? There's nothing but this mystery. You know, because we've lived not even knowing that we're liars, that we're double-minded. Because we haven't realized according to God's word. Who's, you say that, you say it's not your responsibility. Well, it is our responsibility because we haven't preached this. Let's repent of this. So do not be deceived. So verse 8. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption. So that's what happened to me yesterday. I was so tired. I was so hungry. And I was so sleepy. But then, you know, it's God who suddenly made me uh, to go and eat. So that's what me and my ancestors did. Am I going to be of the, uh, am I going to be going towards sleep? So I was praying. And God was saying, go, go near the door and sleep. So I leant against the door. And that's when I was able to sleep peacefully because I knew that. And so I leant against the door and I repented. What is it that me, my ancestors have planted? That even though I'm so weary after the revival that I can't even sleep and I have to wait. I don't know. I can't remember. But please forgive me. And so then I shed a tear and, and I gave thanks. And that's when I heard footprints. And I quickly got up and opened the door. And someone said, Oh, you haven't been sleeping all this time. Well, that's because I've been fighting against my flesh. Uh, the disasters that me and my ancestors have planted. So, blessings are coming your way, but you just sleep. Blessings are coming to you. It comes through someone that you cannot stand. You know, it's the office workers who should be helping me. That's the thoughts of the flesh. If you don't do four-step repentance, you know, this is the reason why you don't receive blessings because you keep losing to your flesh. It's always about our flesh. You go out into the world. If you say, I, oh, I'm 70 years old, they'll say, oh, you need to think about your health. You need to watch over your health. That's all demon talk. You know, who? Who by looking after their own body have they lived? It's Jehovah God who does it. So if you go out, all you hear is demon talk. So it seems so pleasing to the ear, but it's denying God. So it's killing me. And then you say, oh, thank you. What's thankful about that when you're denying God? If you think of the flesh, that's enemies with God. For the one who sows to his own flesh will from the flesh reap corruption but the one who sows to the spirit the spirit who casts out demons Matthew chapter 12 verse 28 will from the spirit reap eternal life why because it casts out demons but the Holy Spirit the liars in this world They say if you pray, then you get the Holy Spirit. That means shamans and fortune tellers all receive the Holy Spirit. No, you have to res you have to do four step repentance until the point that God acknowledges you as right. That's Ephesians chapter one verse thirteen, Acts chapter two verse thirty eight. That's the way you receive the Holy Spirit. Verse nine. Let us not lose heart in doing good. If you do good works in the name of the Holy Trinity if you don't repent then it's you that's done it even though it's the Holy Trinity who made you do it 
It's only when the Father does it that we're able to do things. But we all betray God and 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 we seek freedom of religion or we say that we're busy. That's when you end up with disasters and curses. You know, the people in high places, their children are all problematic and yet they cannot realize. So let us not lose heart in doing good. So during the revival, this is what I um, rebuked the elders. If you're going to do good, if God gives you some working in your heart, whether you get slapped or not, you need to do it until you receive answers. So there was a time where I was late 10 minutes for the service. Um, you know, I was late because I think I looked at the time incorrectly so so someone said oh let's meet and and so then I just went in but that person stopped doing what they were doing if God only God is good if God works in your heart whether you're cursed or whether you're slapped you have to do it until you receive answers but as soon as you know, someone does something, you just stop doing it and you go you go away. Is that is that receiving blessings? What is Christ? Christ is eternal until you receive answers, until you go to heaven. But people who don't do well, you know, they change according to their feelings. That person cannot escape from curses. That person they try so hard to receive, but it's useless. So as you do good Yes, you will lose heart. If you do forced at repentance, if you're going the way toward God, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13, only forced at repentance, the mystery of God, goes toward God. That's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. So if you say that you went to God and received answers without forced at repentance, that's, that's complete lies. Romans chapter 3, verse 4. Those answers are like the answers of a shaman. They're not answers from God. So if you do forced at repentance and you're going towards God, if you're doing good, yes, there will be times when you feel discouraged. Why? Because the filthy things that you and your ancestors have planted, so you receive all sorts of trials. But if you know that that way is good, if you know that only forced at repentance, the blood of Christ is the way to, to find God, Ephesians chapter 2 verse 13, then you have to continue with forced at repentance. But those people who don't do well, as soon as they're busy or, you know, they just discontinue. Let's read verse 9 again together. Let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not grow weary. Amen. So, there's two things for you and your children to do well. For, you, for your problem to to change the blessing. So first of all, first of all, you you may lose heart, but the second thing is it's because of your flesh. You you may grow tired. So at our church after the revival, even though I was so weary, you know, God, he doesn't let me rest and eat well during the day. He makes me tired. And then at night something happens where I become I even more weary and then God asks me do you want to give profit to others or do you want to do according to your flesh you know I can't do this by my strength even if someone paid me I couldn't do it you know if you're tired you just go to sleep I can't do it but if the if the wife serves the husband and the husband serves the wife then which household will divorce which person will get upset which person will be mistreated by their employees what kind of person are you so you know in the in the marines i was about to receive the death penalty because of sleep so there's there's no one here who had more sleep than me and i was about 88 to 90 kilograms if I went out to some sports um, competition, I would I would sleep 
and put on 10 kilograms so that I could go out in competition. So there's probably not many people who ha have who have done who have slept as much as me. But I can't win over the over sleep. It's the Holy Spirit. It's love. The Holy Spirit, Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, is love. It's joy. So last night at 10 o'clock. So I had one heart toward God. And then one of the office, office workers came and said, Oh, you know, you need to... You need to pass this on to someone. So as soon as I heard that, my thoughts stopped being one heart. And I'm thinking of that thing. Acts chapter 6. It's by the word and by prayer. That's what that's what a pastor should be doing. But if I don't repent or not, I have human affection. So I'll be like, yeah, okay, I'll pass that on. No, that is a sign that I'm being ruined. So straight away I say, Satan. I'm meditating to preach God's word and I'm one heart. So, you know, why are you making me doing this? You know, if I don't even know when that person will come, that means I have to remember that the whole day. You say that that's love? What, being cut off, by, cut off to God? If you make someone cut off from God, that's Satan. You know, even I have so many tests like this, even you. But 100% people fall because of their flesh or because of human affection. And then you're mistaken in thinking you have so much love. So the only way to win over this is by four-step repentance. If you want to do good because of what you and your ancestors have planted, when you want to do good, always there will be two hindrances you'll always lose heart. So, losing heart, is that what God gives or what you and your ancestors have planted? It's what you and your ancestors have planted. And then you grumble against it, uh, others and you say, oh, you know, how could they do that? How could they not even think of me? If you misunderstand, that means you, don't, you haven't done four-step repentance. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. If you don't do four-step repentance, your heart is as small as as a, a, tortoise, a tortoise's nostril. Without four-step repentance, your heart cannot be widened. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2. Why is that person's heart so small? Because they haven't done four-step repentance. Oh, that that person's heart is wide as, a, as the ocean. You know what? That's so small. They're double-minded. They're a liar. How is it that you can't even discern? God's word says, if you don't do four-step repentance, there's no way for your heart to be widened. You know, it's the smallest thing and they start misunderstanding. You know what God says? If you do four step repentance, there is no disadvantage. Romans chapter 8, verse 28. So, why? Why would you misunderstand? If you have misunderstandings, it's because you have demons. It's because you have, you're of the flesh and you have envies and jealousies. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 3. Why is it that your business doesn't do well? Because your heart is so small. You know, demons. They talk about your heart being as wide as the ocean. But that is tiny. The whole universe has to go inside of your heart. That's when it's right. So people so don't know. And they deceive themselves. So when we want to do good, which is to walk with God, always you'll be discouraged. But if you do four-step repentance properly, you don't fall. But because you don't do four step repentance, you give up. You do four step repentance for a few years, and then you just, you just, um, you just quit it. That that person is evil, and yet they say they're not. So to John, what does it say? Don't allow that person in your house. Don't shake their hand. Don't greet them. And yet 
those people who talk with those people and gossip and those people want to eat up their children those people are crazy to to if you if you scorn God's word you don't have popularity and you'll be ruined that's what you do and yet you're shameless because your conscience is seared some people say oh those people who don't cover their faces on TV they they blur your face so if you want to do good you will lose heart even your body will become so weary Isaiah chapter 40 verse 29 but it's when you're tired that you receive power and answers but as soon as you're a little bit um, tired you want to lie down but it says you have to be weary those people who don't do well as soon as it comes to their flesh they don't have patience why do our, why is it that kids these days they don't have patience they say it's because they're fed too well or that means all rich people's kids they don't have patience patience and they'll all go to hell if you don't do four step repentance then you don't have patience it's four step repentance that is patience 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 5 the mystery of God so they say oh it's the poor people's kids that have patience Oh, does that mean they're all going to heaven? No. Patience is where Christ is inside of you. You can't be patient. So if you do false step repentance, rich, the rich can do well. If you're educated, you can do well. If you're poor, you can do well. If you suffer, you do well. The mystery of God, everyone can do well. That's why it's almighty. So even if you deny one Bible verse, you'll go to hell. Your name will be taken away from the book of life. Revelation chapter 22, verse 18 to 19. But how many people are so shameless and lie? You go to those places and you call those people pastors and elders. How can you lie so shamelessly? So, so if just because you won the, the test once then each time a test comes if you don't if you don't stay inside of Christ you don't have hope if you don't do four step repentance there is no hope if our country if we don't do four step repentance there is no hope we need to pay attention so verse 10 so then while we have opportunity what is what is an opportunity You think that after being full, that's when you help others. That's an opportunity. No. If the churches, if they get rid of those denominations, if you become one inside of Christ, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 10, if you do four-step repentance, you become one. Then how can you have denominations and factions? If you become one, no matter how difficult our country is, if you look after your neighbor as yourself, then our country won't be ruined. So then, while we have opportunity, why is it that as you go to work, people are corrupt and they steal and they deceive and they won't work unless they're paid? If you're, if you're poor, when, when your children don't have school fees, no one, no one looks towards you because people make denominations. There's no one who looks after others. So that's why you become corrupt. You hide away what you steal so that you and your children can live. These are the thoughts of a dog pig. So here it says, do good, but do not lose heart. If you help others, they will always betray why why do they betray because you're looking toward them you think oh if I help them you know what are they going to do for me that's why they they betray you no you have to look to the Lord it's the Lord who repays Ephesians chapter 6 verse 7 and 8 it's only the Lord who repays so don't look toward others Matthew 
chapter 6, verse 3, it's not me who has done the good. But it's because you think you've done the good and you look towards others. That's why you can't escape from disasters and curses. So then while we have opportunity, let us do good to all people. So good. So here it says, when can you be kind? When? When can you be kind? When you're in the world's darkness, you know the world talks about inequality it talks about black and white it talks about active passive but it's all evil whether it's black or white it's evil everything all of the world outside of Christ is evil all they do is play play with words but God says it's all evil it's inside of the Lord when you do four step repentance and you go inside of the Lord that's when you become light that's when it's love that's when inside of the Lord, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8 to 9, that's when you become light. That's when you become kind. So it's when you're inside of the Lord that you become good. Let's read, find Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8 and 9. So Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 8. So in the world where it is darkness, where they don't do well, their future's not doing well, their children aren't doing well, if you don't do false repentance, there is no light. If you don't go inside of the Lord, there is no light. Those people who stop doing false step repentance and who talk about, you know, they talk about the middle ground. You know, in a pig pen, how can you talk about, oh, well, this is this is well done and this is, you know, this is the middle ground and it's these liars who are deceived by themselves. That's the ancestors' demons. And yet they learn those things and act as if they're smarter. And, and yet when there are problems, no one speaks up. And like an opportunist, they just, they just, they just, um, you know, hide away. So this is why their children don't do well. This is the, this is why they die in such a filthy way. So let's change these problems to blessings. Isn't this our men? This is the way for Korea to live. You know, when everyone else has closed their mouths, it's only God who gives us these correct words. So these fake pastors are the same as these fake scholars. Let's read verse 8. For you were formerly darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Amen. So in the world, it, even if you have, no matter how many doctorates you have, it's still darkness. When can you go inside of the light, inside of the Lord? It's by forced at repentance, thanksgiving. But you don't, you don't have this thanksgiving. That's why you don't do well. But if you are inside of the Lord, first of all, you become good. Let's read verse 9. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Amen. So people say, oh, yes, this person is so good, kind. How much of a lie are you? You don't do four-step repentance properly. You don't give thanksgiving. And you don't receive the Lord's help. And then you say, oh, yeah, but that person's good. You know, we all want to be good, but where does this goodness come from? You have to go inside of the Lord. So if you don't go inside of the Lord, it's all evil. And that's why it all comes to me as disasters and it comes to my children. That is our reality. That's our present situation. So, you know, just from our hearts, we have 10,000 evils. If you have these problems, if Almighty God is in my heart, then we have to have those problems solved. So because this revival was so short, so having Almighty God in my heart, if you do forced at repentance, He enters my heart. Philippians chapter 2, verse 13. That means your problems need to be solved. So you want to have 
almighty God in your heart. But those people who you and your children aren't doing well, it's because you're deceived. It's everything that those disasters are what you and your ancestors have done. So whatever disaster, Zephaniah chapter 3 verse 7 and 8, even though God's decided that you will die today, there are people here like that. You don't know if when you go out you'll die. So what are you going to do? Someone said, someone witnessed during the revival that that when that when the pastor prayed, that's when their child lived from a car accident. So because of my sins and my ancestors' sins, those the price of that sin will come to me. Proverbs chapter thirteen verse twenty one. So we have to get rid of it. We have to change it to blessings. Whatever disaster, whatever disease, let's change it to blessings. That's why we've come here today. We've come to receive help. So what is that help? There's nothing but the blood of Christ. There's nothing but forced at repentance. You know, if you repent and the Holy Spirit guides you and you start to do good, but then, but then, but then you don't have the patience of Christ, so you just give up. That means you and your children will go to hell if you don't have patience. So God, out of love, He gives you problems, not other people's, what you and your ancestors have, have planted. But with that disease, with those disasters, you keep going somewhere else. That's why you don't do well. Today, let's be released. Let's not be discouraged. Let's live as good inside of the Lord. Please, according to this word, let's only receive blessings. Let's call upon the Lord three times and repent. By four-step repentance, that difficulty that you're in, that disease, that poverty, where your problems aren't being solved and you're suffering, where your children aren't doing well. Why is it that my children are so stubborn? It comes from not repenting, Romans chapter 2, verse 5. So don't blame your child. It's what the parents have passed down. So our children are the heritage that God that God gives. You know, don't make your child do something they don't want to do. That's when you'll receive a disaster curse. If you force your children to do something they don't want to do, then those parents don't do well, the children don't do well. You know, those children, they die. They, they complete, the family becomes a complete mess. That's someone who stubbornly tries to, tries to educate according to the, according to what. There's many times where the children are better than the parents. It's as they grow older that they become so dirty. So let's not torment our children. You say, oh, they're not listening. It's because you're, your sin has gone to them via heredity. So it's the parents who need to repent. So what is the way to save our country and our people? God says, after you become good, after you have the worthiness to request, then you need to become someone who prays for others. If you don't even do four-step repentance and then you pray for others, that's demons. Don't be deceived by that. 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 If you want to live peacefully your country then you have to pray for others when can you pray for others when you do four step repentance and you go inside of the Lord and you have the worthiness to request a Jehovah you know if you don't even repent and then you say you're praying for the people of the country you know who's going to be de deceived by such lies that's you know that's my, that's what shamans do so, according to God's word, it's me. It's my problems, my children's problems that we first have to solve. Then we pray for our country and our people. We have to receive this blessing. If your conscience is seared, don't eat up your children. Let's call upon the Lord three times. Lord, 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 Father. Father God, Father God, what am I doing now? I 
Still, by my stubbornness, my thoughts, my theories, am I only seeking my own profit? 